Yes, good evening. Good evening to all of you. Welcome to this third lecture. And today's topic is, as you can see in the board, it is angle modulation. So far, we have already came across the topic of amplitude modulation. And as we have seen that in amplitude modulation, the main problem there was the bandwidth of the signal. The bandwidth of the signal is our main concern. And we have found that the bandwidth required for amplitude modulation is twice of the module, twice the frequency of the modulating signal. So now the advanced part of modulation that is which comes after the amplitude modulation is known as angle modulation. It is not the frequency modulation or it is not the phase modulation, but the topic is known as angle modulation as because in angle modulation or in, uh, by in the terms of angle, what we can explain you that angle means angle means frequency as well as angle means the phase of a signal as we know that any signal can be represented by one from by its amplitude and the other two things that can be uh, a characteristic of a signal are the frequency and number three the phase now this frequency and phase terms are incorporated as the angle of a signal. So here, the second topic or the second chapter of our syllabus is actually angle modulation, in which we will divide the topic into two by uh, a frequency modulation, and the other one is the phase modulation. Now, as I have talked about, that whenever we uh, go through the amplitude modulation scheme, we found that for an amplitude modulation to happen, there remains the main, there remains the problem of bandwidth. So in terms of angle modulation, or if I, if I tell you that actually angle modulation is the, is the advanced part of the modulation system, that means uh, the bandwidth requirement here is actually less than that of the amplitude modulation, but that doesn't, that is not the case here. Actually, uh, in contrary to this, actually the angle modulation requires, or the phase modulation, or the frequency modulation requires the maximum bandwidth or a larger bandwidth as compared to the amplitude modulation. So here, actually, you must. Uh, raise the question that then why we are going to uh, going to talk about frequency modulation or phase modulation since since i am i am answering this question since for an amplitude modulation one problem there was certainly the bandwidth the other problems for a communication signal for a communication system is its noise is its noise. We have not uh, talked a lot about the noise in a system, but remember noise in a system is mainly, uh, is mainly a problem which we encounter in any communication system. And as well as you must remember that noise is not an accident. It is actually an incident in every communication system. So noise is there. It is actually an inevitable term. So you can't neglect noise. You can reduce the noise. So uh, for any modulation system, noise is a problem for the technologies, for the engineers. So in also amplitude modulation, noise is there and noise uh, creates a lots of disturbances in amplitude modulation system. So now in frequency modulation system or in frequency modulation, the noise part is very, very low. The noise part is very, very low. So 
while the bandwidth requirement is actually very larger with compared to the amplitude modulation scheme but as because the noise part is very very low in frequency modulation we actually are interested about the frequency modulation scheme and as you know that today's in today's world amplitude modulation is totally obsolete amplitude you can't find amplitude modulation in anywhere in today's world but you can find frequency modulation still now frequency modulation is in use so so a frequency modulation system or a frequency modulation scheme is uh, in today's world it is also in effect and this is the and that is due to the low noise level the low noise level that is the low noise level is actually is actually entertained while the bandwidth requirement is quite a large so not only the bandwidth not only the requirement of the bandwidth we actually obsoleted the amplitude modulation scheme we we uh, rejected the amplitude modulation scheme due to due to its noise due to its noise okay so let's proceed towards the angle modulation chapter now firstly we define <clears throat> firstly we uh, should define the frequency of a waveform for a simple wave for a simple wave like sine waves the answer is quite obvious for a wave using an expression like f of t f of t that equals to a cos 2 pi ft plus phi now here as you can know as you know that f is the frequency of the wave we can also represent such a wave as f of t it can be written also as f of t equals to some function a capital theta of t it is the capital theta and that capital theta is nothing but the capital theta is nothing but twice pi ft plus phi so you can write this is the this is the standard form this is the standard form of any sinusoidal wave which can be written as in terms of f of t equals to a cos this function can be written as theta of t so theta of t is actually so theta of t is actually 2 pi ft plus phi now for a simple sine wave f has a constant value and theta t increases steadily with time at the rate ddt ddt now we are going to find out the change of change of this uh, this theta t this theta t and it will give us twice pi f twice pi f now let us define once the frequency modulation system what is the frequency modulation what is frequency modulation uh, as we have as we have discussed as we have analyzed amplitude modulation and in which we define amplitude modulation as when in which the carrier the carrier wave the carrier amplitude or the amplitude of the carrier wave is changed is modulated the amplitude of the carrier wave is modulated with respect to or is modulated proportional to the modulating signal or the information signal is known as the amplitude modulated wave so in an amplitude modulation system the amplitude of the carrier wave is changed the amplitude of the carrier wave is changed with respect to the modulating signal okay so if you if you proceed in a similar manner and you have to define the frequency modulated system what you should say we should say that in frequency modulation system 
the frequency of the carrier wave the frequency of the carrier wave is modulated the frequency of the carrier wave is modulated with respect to or with proportional to the modulating signal so in amplitude modulated system the the carrier amplitude or the amplitude of the carrier signal is changed in accordance with the modulating or the information signal as well as in frequency modulation system the frequency of the carrier wave is changed or modulated in accordance with the with the modulating signal similarly in a phase modulation system similarly in a phase modulation system the the phase of the carrier wave the carrier wave phase or the phase of the carrier wave is changed in accordance with the modulating signal so in every modulating system whichever the name suggests if it is amplitude modulation then the amplitude of the carrier changes if it is frequency modulation the frequency of the carrier changes and if it is phase modulation the phase of the carrier changes in accordance with the modulating or in accordance with the with the information signal okay so uh, so let's uh, so this is the this is the um, equation that is at the rate at which the rate at which the angle changes ddt of theta t and that equals to twice pi f remember this theta t is not only the frequency not only the phase part it actually covers the entire part of the frequency as well as the phase now as i have defined the frequency modulation wave that is when we uh, here we modulate a carrier frequency that is uh, let it be fc let the carrier frequency be fc and it is modulated with an information signal represented by mt so that ft should be that ft that ft should be a cos a cos 2 pi 2 pi fi t plus phi now what is fi that fi must be equals to the carrier frequency that is fc the carrier frequency that is fc plus kf into mt that fi equals to fc plus kf into mt where so it is the instantaneous frequency it is the instantaneous frequency of the wave at any instant of t now here i have used the term kf here i have used the term kf actually kf is a constant and whose value depends upon the modulating system and which determines how many hertz of frequency how many hertz of frequency change one gets for each voltage of modulating signal okay is it okay till now is it okay please repeat mt 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 is nothing but the information signal devdotta mt is the modulating or the information signal we are representing the information signal as because we have told that in frequency modulation the frequency of the carrier wave changes the frequency of the carrier wave changes in accordance with the modulating signal so that is the reason we have written this that is at the last equation that is the instantaneous frequency instantaneous frequency will be uh, the summation of the carrier frequency as because the 
carrier frequency changes so that is fc plus a constant kf that is how much how much of the carrier frequency or how much of the frequency is actually changing so that is the term kf it is a constant term and then and then the modulating signal that is the mt please repeat k kf yes kf as i have told that kf is kf is only a constant kf is only a constant term actually it represents how much of the carrier frequency is going to be changed okay so that is that is the actually i am i am uh, tending towards to define kf further but till now kf is a constant and it actually depends and it actually tells us that how much of the frequency or the carrier frequency is changing with respect to or with proportional to the information or to the modulating signal that is kf uh fi or more fi fi is the instantaneous frequency of the signal now why why uh, here you can ask me that why here the instantaneous frequency is uh, going to uh, going to um, represented uh, why i am representing that instantaneous frequency term just uh, remember that in the in the definition of fm what i have i have told you i have told you that the carrier frequency is changing in accordance the carrier frequency is changing in proportional to the modulating signal now what is the frequency in our in our uh, class 9 class 10 uh, standard we talked about frequency fast as per my remember is concern i uh, my memory is concern i can remember that uh, that is the that is the class in which we first encountered the term frequency and that time or rather uh, at the later time also we actually define or we actually know uh, frequency as the time at which a complete oscillation takes place the time at which a complete oscillation takes place now here what i am talking about i am talking about that the frequency of the carrier wave the frequency of the carrier wave is actually changing in accordance with the modulating or the information signal so if within a time interval or within a time period if the if the uh, if the frequency changes if the frequency changes as because as because the information signal is changing now then how could you define frequency how could you define frequency now this is actually the case uh, in classical mechanics when we have talked about the velocity the average velocity and the instantaneous velocity what was instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity was actually uh, actually taken as when the body when the velocity of a body is changing with time rapidly so you have to take the instantaneous value that is you have to take the time time value nearly equals to zero and that is the time when you can talk about the instantaneous velocity or you can represent the instantaneous velocity here also here also as the modulating signal is continuously changing that means it actually changes the frequency of the carrier the frequency of the carrier is changing continuously proportional to the modulating signal and that is why we are going to represent or we are going to talk about the instantaneous frequency is it okay <clears throat> so that is fi that is fi <clears throat> is it okay may i proceed <clears throat>
or in them very much very much means please explain okay sir okay so <clears throat> so that is the that is the reason why we have <coughs> we have represented that fi now the fm wave can be used to convey can be used to convey information about the modulating pattern in a manner similar to the amplitude modulation variations but it can be seen that unlike an amplitude modulated wave a frequency modulation wave does not have a single frequency value it does not have a single frequency value as because the frequency is continuously changing as the frequency is continuously changing in a frequency modulation system so here you can't find a single frequency uh, you can't find a wave uh, in which only a single frequency value exists now this makes an fm wave obviously different to that of an am wave here in case of an fm wave we have defined or we can define two distinct quantities number one that is the unmodulated frequency unmodulated frequency unmodulated frequency means that is the carrier frequency that is the carrier frequency so number one you can you can represent uh, a carrier frequency or an unmodulated frequency and its modulated frequency that is fi which actually changes from time to time or from instant to instant now the instantaneous phase the instantaneous phase uh, at any phase of the modulated wave at any instant can be obtained by substituting uh, let it be let it be let the equations are numbered let the equations are numbered let it be equation 1 this one is equation 2 equation 3 number 4 number 5 and then it is equation 6 equation 6 let the equations are numbered now now to get the instantaneous phase of the modulated wave at any instant uh, we can obtain this by uh, substituting equation uh, equation 6 so by substituting equation 6 in equation 4 so that is the ddt ddt of theta t ddt of theta t and uh, we can we should find it now if you if you put here if you put here the value as we obtain from equation 6 and integrate this equation after putting the value of 2 pi f now this f should be should be represented or should be substituted by the value as we found in equation 6 so it will be ddt of theta t that equals to twice pi in bracket we can put fc plus kf into mt so i am writing this i am writing this right now so we obtain <clears throat> so after substituting the value from equation 6 into equation 4 we get d theta t dt d theta t dt equals to twice pi and then uh, at the place of f we are going to substitute this that is fc plus k kf into kf into mt okay now now if we uh, if you are interested to find the value of if you are interested to find the value of theta t theta t how can we obtain the value of theta t so we have to integrate this uh, this equation this above equation and uh, so we will find twice pi fc integral dt means t and then plus twice pi kf integral 0 to t mt dt 
Now, why this term? This term appears here. That is integral of 0 to t mt dt. As because mt is the information, is the modulating signal. You, we actually don't know the value of the information signal right now. We don't know the value of the information signal right now. So we have to keep it. We have to keep it in, the, in its actual form. And that's why it is integral 0 to t as because if t is the time period of the information signal, so the integral will be integral 0 to t mt dt. So that's why mt dt is here. And we have find this, that is the KF sensitivity of modulation. Yes, Pranob, we can, we can uh, tell this, that is the sensitivity of modulation. Uh, I am going to discuss uh, further more about KF, but right now let's concentrate over this. That is the value of theta t and theta t will be twice pi fc t plus twice pi kf integral 0 to t mt dt. Now let it be equation 7. Let it be equation 7. Now here, here uh, one assumption has been taken place. One assumption is here. That is the phase is 0 at time t equals to 0. Okay. Now, in a similar way, in a similar way, we can define a phase modulated wave. Now, uh, so far, we have defined a FM wave, that is a frequency modulated wave. Now, we are going to define, uh, in a similar manner, we are going to define a phase modulated wave. Now, uh, similarly, if we proceed, then uh, that F of t, that f of t, which was a cos a cos capital theta into t, and where theta t now what is theta t? Now we are we are actually we are actually defining we are actually defining the the phase modulated wave. So here uh, in a phase modulation, what happens in a, in phase modulation? the phase of the carrier, the carrier phase or the phase of the carrier is changing. The phase of the carrier is going to change in accordance with the modulating uh, signal. So now, now uh, what is, what will be the value of theta t? So theta t will be, here theta t will be twice pi, twice pi fct plus Kp, so here Kp, uh, Kp into mt. Here theta t or the uh, or the phase modulation or theta t can be written as twice pi fc t plus Kp into mt. And Kp here and Kp here determines the phase change per voltage of modulation that the PM modulator, PM modulator being used produces. So uh, as the case for KF, again, KP is also, KP is also represented similarly, and it is the phase change per voltage of modulation that the PM modulator being used produces. Now here, the instantaneous frequency of the PM wave will be therefore f i t the, will be therefore f i t that is the instantaneous frequency f i t will be the carrier frequency that is f c f i t will be the carrier frequency f c plus k p into d d t of m t d d t of m t and let it be equation Mm, so it is equation 8, it will be 9, and let it be equation 10. Let it be equation 10. <clears throat> now I have already, I, I have already rubbed the equation number 6. Uh, uh, 
let equation number six is written. Fi, it was Fi equals to Fc plus Kf into Mt. I'm uh, writing this equation six again, uh, just to tell you that now, now uh, we are going to compare, we are going to compare this equation six and then equation seven. Uh, comparing equation six and seven. So equation six was uh, six and seven were the two cases, two equations for the FM modulation, that is frequency modulation case, as well as equations nine and 10. Equations nine and 10, that is theta t and fi t are the cases for the phase modulation. So let's talk about these four equations. One is equation six, with equation seven and then talk about equation nine and equation 10. These two are the PM cases and these are the FM case. So actually now, now I'm interested uh, to compare, to compare or to uh, get some idea uh, what are the differences between the frequency modulation and phase modulation. Actually the difference uh, we already talked about is the in the definition of the two schemes that is in which in which the frequency of the carrier changes it is fm and in which the phase of the modulation or phase of the uh, carrier changes it is known as the phase modulation system but uh, but but uh, i now i am interested about to uh, get some differences uh, with respect to the mathematical equations from uh, derived from these equations. That is, uh, right now, I'm considering equation six and seven for the FM system and nine and 10 for the phase modulation scheme. Now, what we can talk about? If you compare equations uh, six and seven with equations nine and 10, just uh, follow these four equations right now. We find that unless we know something about the modulation in advance, we may not be able to make out whether the signal is FM or PM. As uh, why I'm talking this, as you can see that in equation seven, in equation seven, there is an integral, there is an integration of integral zero to t mt dt. And right now we have not, we have no knowledge about the, about the information signal. That is, please explain equation nine. No, rule. Oh, okay. So in equation nine, now these three equations, that is here, uh, in uh, in the case of phase modulation. Here in the case of phase, phase modulation, actually we proceed in a similar manner as we have derived uh, for the frequency modulation system. Here in the phase modulation scheme, in the phase modulation system, uh, let the equation be f of t equals to some constant into cos of the function and that function as because it is the phase modulation system, that function, that, uh, that uh, theta part, that phase or frequency part is actually twice pi into FCT, twice pi into FCT, as because you can, you can uh, refer to equation three in the frequency modulation, uh, in the frequency modulation system. And there you can find that in equation three, we have uh, written, theta t equals to twice pi f t plus phi. That phi was the phase. Now here we are talking about the phase modulation. So that means the phase should be changed. The phase should be changed according to the definition. The phase of the carrier wave is changing. So that is the reason we uh, we have put uh, we put that value k p into m t. So k p is the constant, it is the, as uh, Pranov is told, that Kp must be, uh, we can represent Kp as the 
as the sensitivity of modulation yes it is the sensitivity that is how much modulation is going to take place how much modulation is going to take place that is kp and that is the information signal actually in pm in pm i have told about time and again that in phase modulation the phase part of the carrier is changing according to the modulating signal so that is the reason i have put i put this kp into mt so how much how much of the phase how much of the phase uh, in accordance to the modulating signal is changing that will give you that kp into mt so that is the reason i have written equation 9 okay so great nazrul now now uh, what i am talking about that i am i am uh, defining now in equation 7 or or in equation 10 what you can find these equations that is equation 7 as well as equation 10 but if phase is change frequency also change is not it what is the meaning of uh let one by one amor is asking but if phase is changed frequency also changed is not it why why if the phase is changing if the phase is changing why you are talking about that frequency is changing as because we can talk about any wave uh, a cos omega t plus phi a cos omega t plus phi here omega is the frequency uh, that is the angular frequency you can talk about twice phi ft plus phi now if the phi is changing if the phi is changing that doesn't mean that f is changing actually f and phi are not related to each other but if phi is changing or if the term f is changing if the term f is changing the whole part of the theta t that is the capital theta t is changing that is the angular part is changing but not the frequency but not the frequency if the phase is changing that doesn't mean it changes the frequency as well as if the frequency of is changing that doesn't mean it will change the phase of the wave so phase and frequency are not not uh, uh, connected with each other but if one of these if one of these parameters is changing then actually the angular part of the wave must change that is a cos twice pi ft plus phi that is our that is our basic equation we came across uh, many a times and if the f part if the frequency is changing that doesn't change the phi but it changes the whole angular part similarly if phi is changing that doesn't changes the f part that is the frequency part but again the entire angular part of the equation is changing is it not amor amor do you get my point now farat is asking for farat is thinking that i have skipped uh, her question no amor yes that is the that is the basic uh, basic uh, definition of phase and frequency if you are going to relate these two if you are going to actually i am i am talking about this in a few minutes that that uh, that right now Uh, we actually are considering we actually are concentrating about only the phase only the frequency but if we relate this to if we relate this to and that is the reason i have starting this chapter with the name angle modulation not the frequency not the phase modulation actually what i am right now i am going to talk about that is while considering these two equations equations Seven and equation ten. Father, I am coming. Just, just hold on. 
right now, while I am talking about these two equations, equation seven and equation ten, what does these equations told us? These equations actually told us that if you do not know the value of the information signal, that is, if you do not know the value of the MT, that is, the information signal. you can't be able to distinguish whether it is the frequency modulated scheme or it is the phase modulated scheme actually these two these two in uh, in electronics or in communication world these two are analogous these two are analogous so so uh, while we are talking about frequency modulation we actually considering the fact only only the frequency of the of the carrier wave changes the frequency of the carrier wave and uh, for your for your query amor uh, amor for your query uh, this uh, information signal this information signal may be in any value now right now while i am talking this is the voice signal so it doesn't have a discrete value it may have a random value whatever may be the information signal looks like but but the carrier signal but the carrier signal is dependent upon the system engineer choice while i am i am constructing this communication system say i am constructing a communication system or you are going to construct a communication system then the choice of then the choice of carrier signal is on you you can select or rather in frequency modulation or in phase modulation to take place we actually consider only a cos omega t or a cos omega t plus phi while in phase modulation takes place so here always we are talking about a simpler waveform for to make the system simple to make the system look simpler as because uh, after after proceeding uh, uh, deep into the chapter we found uh, that the systems actually the modulators the demodulators that is the electronic systems uh, responsible to this fm or pm is is uh, is a very very uh, difficult one to design is a very difficult one to design the the structures or the uh, or the operation principles are very much uh, tougher with compared to the amplitude modulation uh, modulator or demodulator system okay so actually uh, in phase modulation and frequency modulation these two are analogous we can't we can't differentiate fm and pm uh, vividly okay now farath is asking for what is the meaning of ddt of mt why why are you asking for this question as because ddt of mt that means that you are going to you are going to check you are going to find out the rate of change of information signal that is the ddt rate of change and mt means the rate of change of information signal why are you talking about to find out the rate of change of information signal actually your information signal in fm or in pm it actually changes with time it actually changes with time so you have to consider the rate change of the modulating signal or the information signal is it okay is it okay amor and farah <clears throat> Farat, is it okay? Omar. So mathematically, now mathematically speaking, mathematically speaking, this frequency modulation as well as the phase modulation can be uh, can be treated as identical twins. 
just in a uh, in a light word i can take uh, tell this that this fm and pm are the identical twins what is so what we what is the difference now here you can find from these two equations that the only difference within equation 7 or uh, within equation 7 and 10 the only difference is that one corresponds to a modulation pattern that is the differential of the pattern produced by the other one uh, corresponds to a modulation pattern that is actually the differential of the pattern produced by the other so uh, in other words we can we can think uh, 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 we can think to uh, in order to differentiate fm and pm if we want to recover the modulated information correctly we have to know in advance which type of modulation in uh, is being used okay now uh, in a in a nutshell we can talk about that both fm and pm both fm and pm are quite dissimilar to that from an am wave so there is a sharp there is a sharp discrimination between amplitude modulation as well as angle modulation but if we talk about to differentiate this fm and pm right now just uh, as omor is talking about that if we differentiate between the between the uh, fm that is the frequency modulation as well as the phase modulation we may face some difficulties right now but later on later on we will proceed as we proceed in deep into the chapter uh, i think we can differentiate among these two among these two okay so let's proceed further so now we are going to talk about the spectrum now we are we are going to differentiate these two topics that is one is frequency modulation and the other is phase modulation so right now i am going to talk about uh, the spectrum of a fm wave or a fm signal i am not talking about uh, phase modulation right now so now i am considering now i am considering only the frequency modulation so right now our topic is frequency modulation spectrum or the spectrum of the frequency modulated wave spectrum of an fm signal now i have already written this equation that is theta t theta t uh, was 2 pi fct for the fm wave and that is 2 pi kf integral 0 to t mt dt it was written earlier it was written earlier uh, whether it is our equation uh, 7 i think it was equation 7 now from this equation we can write an fm wave in the form so uh, if this is the fm wave if this is the fm wave that is the frequency frequency can be written as as we have talked about a cos of theta t a cos of theta t so it can be written as a cos with 2 pi fct plus 2 pi kf integral of 0 to t mt dt and this is the entire part of the theta t so i have uh, i put this value i put this value in equation 1 i think it was our equation 1 where i have written f equals to a cos of theta t so substituting the value uh, as we found in equation 7 into this equation 1 and we can write the frequency modulated or the frequency of the of the fm wave okay now take the uh, take an example Uh, take an example as the modulating signal or the uh, modulating signal mt let mt let us take an example if mt equals to 
EM cos twice pi FMT. Let it the uh, let it be the information signal. As you can see, Omar, uh, especially you can see that here uh, I have I have dropped the face part. I have dropped the face part for simplicity. Now as uh, so this, uh, if this is the this is the information or the modulating signal, uh, we can write f i that is the instantaneous frequency f i t. It will be f c plus k f into m t. It was our f i equals to f c plus k f into m t. Now if this is the information signal. So we can write it as Kf into Em into cos twice pi Fmt. Okay. So this will be the this will be the instantaneous frequency. Now from this equation, from this equation, uh, we can if we if we uh, if we are interested to plot this particular equation or this particular wave, uh, what we will find? We will find that the carrier frequency, that the carrier signal or the carrier signal is actually is swinging. It, the instantaneous frequency or Fi is actually swings up and down, up and down either side of Fc over a range of plus minus kf into em as because fi equals to carrier frequency plus this value that is kf into em this value kf into em and then the cos value as we know that the cos functions have maximum value plus one and the minimum value is of minus one so that means that the instantaneous frequency this instantaneous frequency is actually swings up and down it swings up and down with the fc value so the instantaneous frequency swings up when fc plus kf into em that is the maximum value of the cos value maximum value of the cos function it will goes up and when the cos function is at its minimum value, then the signal of Fi, the frequency, it will swing down and the value will be Fc minus of Kf into Em. So that is a, that is a, that is the spectrum looks like that the instantaneous frequency actually swings up, Fi actually swings up and down either side of Fc over a range of plus minus kf into em this particular range that is the range at which fi swings that is uh, at the swings up direction as well as in the down direction this range is usually described in the terms of the modulated signals peak, peak frequency deviation value and it is defined as so this kf into em it is defined as it can be written as delta f it can be written as delta f and this is the peak frequency deviation this is the peak frequency peak frequency deviation so what is this peak frequency deviation peak frequency deviation means that the instantaneous frequency fi is swings up and down swings up and down from the carrier frequency fc or from the value of fc with a value of plus minus kf into em when the plus sign arises the plus sign arises as because the cosine function has a maximum value of plus 1 and when the minus sign arises it arises as because the cosine sine cosine function has a minimum value of minus one so that is the reason that the instantaneous frequency swings up and down from fc in accordance with plus minus kf into em and that value 
that is kf into em is known as the peak frequency deviation is it okay is it okay okay fine now here another another interesting another interesting uh, point you can find out that now in terms of the peak frequency deviation or in the value of peak frequency deviation that is delta f now the delta f depends one term is kf now it kf is a constant so just neglect it so delta f actually depends on em delta f depends on em what is em em is the modulation em is the amplitude em is the amplitude of the information signal so the frequency deviation term the frequency deviation term is actually depends is actually depends upon the amplitude of the modulation modulating signal it doesn't depends upon the frequency of the modulating signal that is an interesting point to note just note it that the frequency deviation of the fm signal or the fm wave that is delta f which i have written right now that delta f the value of delta f which is equals to kf into em and if you consider this equation as a whole you will find that the value of delta f that is the frequency deviation of the of the fm signal actually depends on em and em is nothing but the amplitude of the modulating wave so in a frequency modulation system the carrier frequency changes it is okay but that carrier frequency changes according to according to the modulation or according to the amplitude of the modulating signal the carrier frequency changes again i am talking again i am repeating this the carrier frequency changes in a frequency modulated system the carrier frequency changes in accordance to or with proportional to the amplitude of the modulating signal so here the frequency of the modulating signal is not taken in order is not is not uh, is not into the play okay so the frequency so the frequency of the modulating signal has no role to play but the amplitude of the modulating signal now why this takes place why this takes place it must be an obvious question as because in every wave in every wave the information lies the information lies in the amplitude part of the wave it is the most simpler form if the ampli if the information lies in the amplitude along the amplitude of the wave it actually has a more more definite value or it has more impact but right now if you are going to transmit this signal if you are going to transmit you if, if you have to transmit this signal you will face a lot of problems that is this information signal if this information signal is to be transmitted is to be transmitted and if it absorb it absorbs noise noise then your information which actually lies in the amplitude of the of your wave it will be changed so that is the reason we before transmitting this information signal we modulates this signal 
and there comes the am there comes the fm as well as the phase modulation now so in a frequency modulation just remember that in frequency modulation the frequency deviation or the peak frequency deviation is actually dependent on em and that em is nothing but the amplitude of the modulating signal so if this is the information signal this is the modulating signal and the information lies here in the amplitude part of the wave your carrier wave is your frequency of the carrier wave is changing in accordance with the amplitude of your information signal and that is the essence of fm so in fm uh, it doesn't mean that the information signal or the frequency of the information signal actually changes the frequency of the carrier the amplitude of the information signal actually changes the frequency of the carrier so just remember this particular line okay <clears throat> so now 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 if this is delta f if this is delta f that is k f into em uh, so so what will be the value of what will be the value of f uh, of fm what will be the value of f of fm or what will be the value of uh, let us find find uh, firstly the value of theta t what will be the value of theta t so as we have already already considered the value of mt for theta t for theta t to derive theta t it will be it will be twice pi fct plus twice pi kf now integral of mt dt so integral of em cos this now what is the integral value cos function integrates we we get sin value so it will be em em it will be em sin twice pi fmt it will be sin twice pi fmt divided by twice pi fm okay so we have kf into em by twice pi or rather twice pi twice pi can be cancelled it will be kf into em divided by fm and as you can see that we have already discussed what is the value of kf into em and that kf into em is actually delta f so we can write it as twice pi fct plus delta f divided by fm into sine function of twice pi fm t so this will be the value of theta t this will be the value of theta t is it okay just response quickly is it okay the value of theta t it is given by twice pi fct plus delta f by fm sin twice pi fmt and this particular delta f by fm as because these two are frequency these two that is delta f and fm both of these two are frequency so the ratio of two frequencies must be a constant term and we can write it theta t we can write theta t as twice pi fct plus a constant and that constant is written as beta beta sin 2 pi 2 pi fmt okay so this can be written as beta and beta is nothing but delta f by fm beta is delta f by fm and it is defined as the modulation index so this is the modulation index for fm this is the modulation index for fm beta equals to delta f by fm is it okay so quickly move on to find out the value of uh, value of f of fmt that is the frequency of the fm signal so the frequency of the fm signal 
just substituting these values that is the frequency f of fm we can write f of fm it was a cos a cos 2 pi fct plus twice pi kf into integral of 0 to t mt dt as mt dt is nothing but uh, em as mt is em cos of 2 pi fmt we can write this as a cos twice pi fct plus twice pi kf then integral of em so that means em cos function means sin 2 pi fmt divided by 2 pi fm again 2 pi 2 pi cancels and then it can be written as a cos of 2 pi fct plus kf into em means delta f by fm sine function of twice pi fmt or you can write it as a cos 2 pi fct plus beta into sine of 2 pi fmt so this will be the equation for a frequency modulated wave f of fm so this is the value of the frequency modulated wave that is a cos 2 pi fct plus beta sine 2 pi fmt now from this from this particular equation from this particular equation we get the information we get the information on how the modulated signal varies with time how the modulated signal varies with time this particular equation from this particular equation we can find out how the modulated signal varies with time okay Or in num, is it is it FMT or FMT? Why? No, FM is the frequency of the modulated modulating signal. So that is F of, uh, M suffix F suffix M FM. Is it FMT? Yes, if the first one that is F suffix M then T FMT. Yes, Arindam, the first one. Okay. So I am concluding this class. Have you any questions? Okay, so... So you have no questions right now. So I am going to conclude this class. So here in this class, I have talked about one, the angle modulation, what are the difference, why we need angle modulation, why, why we uh, need angle modulation, that is what is the difference between amplitude modulation and angle modulation. And then we proceed to differentiate or to divide the angle modulation uh, in terms of frequency modulation, then phase modulation, we uh, we represent that, or we show you. I showed I showed you that we can differentiate FM and PM, FM and PM without knowing the value of the information signal. So this can be treated as identical twins. And later on, in the last part of this lecture, I have shown you. I have shown you the frequency spectrum of the frequency modulated wave. Okay, so, um, so thank you for attending this class. Uh, I will be, or we will be present here tomorrow at the same time. Okay, so goodbye.